This is Coda, sit home by Chris and Knutin and his son Joe. I'm starting, this is just some of the beginning of our force fetch drills. This is a pile horizontal drill where I'm just laying them out horizontally. You want separation between them so you can work on your puppy not switching, which means they pick one up, they run to another one, and then they drop the one they have. Fetch. So I'll send her on fetch. I don't care which one she grabs. Here. Heel. Drop. Fetch. This one kind of works on all the mechanics. Here. Another word. Words, get one, come back, come into heel, sit, drop, fetch, and repeat it. So it's a repetitive drill on working on all the steps of a retrieve. Heel, sit, drop, sit. So I'll repeat this. This time I'm going to do what I call a triangle pile drill. Where I'll have Two horizontal like that and then one deeper and the, what the deeper one does it almost works as a more of a magnet to pull them out there once they pick up one of the shorter ones sometimes fetch we'll see what she does here here good girl even if she went to the far one I'm okay with that it's just it just sometimes drop fetch more of a temptation for the puppy to once they get to one of the close ones to run by it and go to the far one. Here. Heel. Drop. Fetch. So now I got rid of one of the dead fowls, so I've got one in my hand. Heel. What I'm going to do now is go to a sit, hold, throw drill. So I'm having her hold one while I throw one. Drop. Coda. Now release her on her name. Just to kind of give it that little enthusiasm with her name. Heel. I want her back to my side. Sit. Hold. I'll repeat that. Drop. Sit. Coda. And we'll transition into a throw over drill, which means as I call her into heel, I'm throwing one. Drop. Coda. Fetch. Every once in a while I will throw fetch back in there. Just let them know that's what I want. Heel. Good girl. She can look at it. I just don't want her going back after it. Drop. Coda. Good girl. And then from this, heel, I'll go into my steady to sit double drill. Drop. Sit. So she's at sit. I'm throwing two of them. Coda. Most dogs will go after the last one you throw. Here, you saw her look over at the other one. So as she comes in, I will make that little step to straighten her out. Drop. Coda. So it's almost like the beginning of a lining drill if she ever went into hand signal work. Heel. I'll repeat that again. Drop, sit. Coda. It's really important you when you do these drills, it's not about how long you do them. Um, you know, you want to keep the dog excited, get the, the consistency. Drop, coda. And you got to also remember temperature. You know, today it's probably about 50 right now, 45, 50 heel, so it's perfect for this. Heel, sit, drop, sit. Now I have a dummy behind me, heel, that I'm going to reinforce with my collar, sit, fetch. So I use stimulation from my e-collar to push her out to that one. Heel, there you go. So I'm going to, the way I can repeat this is ever hold that one and just throw one out maybe, you know, 10, 15 feet, drop, same thing, fetch. I just use the e-collar to, for, you know, reinforce that I can use that kind of contact to, to get her to pick up. Good girl. Hold. Drop. Now I'm going to throw a 
couple fun ones in here. Okay, okay. Which basically means I'm releasing her. And you can see the, you know, how much more adrenaline we're going to get. Good girl here. But off that drive, I want to come in, heel, and like letting off the gas pedal drop. Go back to idle. Okay. So we'll throw one more there. Good job, Coda. Heel. Sit. Good. So that's Coda. Drop, like I said, owned by Chris Knutin, and this is uh, his son's his son Joe's puppy.